welcome back to my channel i am so happy to be here to be making another video for you guys and i know it's taken so long so my youtube now a lot is changing and now that i have a daughter and now that i'm a new mom i really want to make more videos about experiencing motherhood she's growing i'm growing if you guys want to see us grow make sure you guys subscribe to my channel um like this video comment down below if you guys want to start a conversation so in today's video i'm going to give you guys 10 essentials that i feel like helped me when she was a newborn and that's helping me now journey is now three months you guys look how big she's getting and y'all see i'm trying to get us to match like i really like matching with her like I'll be trying to make our clothes a little bit the same, like the color wise. If we can match every day, I will definitely do that. This is what she's wearing, okay? And y'all see she's getting chubby. Time is going by so fast, but I'm loving seeing her grow, you guys, and looking at her new little activities that she like to do. Um, she got the hiccups now because she just got done eating. I've used so much stuff for her. So that's why I'm going to make a second video. I just wanted to give you guys these 10 essentials that I feel like helped me so much. Okay, so number one. Number one has to be a swaddle. When she was first born, she was swaddled by the doctors. And I didn't know how important it was. Um, they swaddled her. And then after I had to swallow her, but I didn't, I didn't know how to do it. So I had to look up some YouTube videos and it was hard the first couple of times, but then I started getting used to it and she started using the swaddle and it helped a lot. It helped her sleep throughout the night. It helped her feel like she was still in my stomach, I guess. Like it, it worked actually, but we just, just recently got off the swaddle. Well, not recent, I'll say like, um a month ago i stopped using the swaddle she started getting out of the swaddle and i'm like oh my god like her arms started getting out of the swaddle every single time i put her in and i know how to swaddle good now like i know how to swaddle everything that i have i'm gonna put it in the description box below okay so the swaddle she always got her arms out of it and i always was like dang why is she every time she always get her arms out of it and it was because she just didn't want to be in it no more i would suggest a swaddle definitely for a newborn number two i will definitely say the baby feeding log and the reason why is because when she was born the doctor had told me to keep track of her feedings and not to overfeed her the baby feeding log it really helped me a lot because i was able to track everything um how long she was eating how long she was sleeping when she first came from the hospital i used to write everything down in my notes it was just becoming too much like deleting and then adding and then freaking it was just a lot i just had too much on my mind especially trying to feed her and then change her and then keep track of like everything so this baby feeding log is really 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 helpful okay so number three is going to be the pacifier clip the pacifier clip you guys i was very hesitant about it because i just always saw babies with it and their pacifier on it and the pacifier just like when they're crawling or like just doing anything it's just dragging on the floor and i'm i'm not a germaphobe but i'm just hey be quiet but she just kept like spitting her pacifier out so then after a while i was just like okay well i need something that's gonna hold her pacifier but a, a short one this is her pacifier clip i had to get off <laughs> so this is her pacifier clip this can get longer and it can get shorter because it has this little you see this right there it has that on there so it has that um and you can just clip it onto her shirt or to her babe or whatever like for example like if i put it in let me see look she and for some reason now that she's three months she doesn't even want the pacifier anymore she wants her fingers so but it's a really good help and another essential is the pacifier the pacifier helps a lot before she really used the pacifier and she liked it um this this is how the nipple looks and it's different from the one that you get from the hospital she never liked it that one she did not like that one at all so like you know see so the clip is really needed but yeah uh 
some babies don't like pacifiers some babies love pacifiers some babies will use them sometimes so i would say just get different kinds i had to get like six different kinds of pacifiers to see which one she liked and i breastfeed so i will breastfeed her and as soon as i'm done because i she will eat y'all she will eat until the wheels fall off she she would just keep eating so i heard from breast i breastfeed her for a while and when i feel like she's full i fill her stomach and stuff like that then I'm like, okay, I take it out, put the pacifier in, she good, you know? So the pacifier works really, really good for me. Okay, so number four is gonna be the nail file ladies. Like, she be needing her nails filed. Some people keep mittens on their babies, but her, she really never like needs them like that. Um, but we do file her nails. I um, clip, I don't clip her nails because they're so tiny. So her grandma clips her nails for me, but she does get those clipped and that's pretty much it. I think a nail file is definitely needed for your newborn. Okay, I had to actually go get this next essential that I'm gonna tell you guys about because I want you guys to hear it. This is called the Shusher. This is the best thing ever, especially for um, newborns, you guys. This is what it does. So this is definitely helpful, especially for when she was a newborn, because like sometimes you get tired as a shh, shh, like I'll be getting tired. Me, I'll be like, okay, damn. But this, it really helps, especially at nighttime. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So since she's three months, she does not want to sit down anymore. She wants to like stand. And she watching Coco Melon, so. That's a really good show to uh, let your babies watch. All right, but the shusher works so good, you guys, especially when she's sleeping, especially when she's in her, when I put her in her car seat, she starts crying. Then I put the shusher on and then it just makes everything so much better. I feel like it relaxes her. So I feel like the shusher is really, really good. It's a really good essential for you to use. So number six is going to be the neck bib. So I have to wash her other ones. She's not wearing it now, but I will post it for you guys in the description box and right here. The neck bib, it's so helpful, especially for babies who are teething. I don't, I think that she's teething now. Your baby can teeth up to, like can start teething at three months. And I feel like she's teething because she's drooling so much. Anyways, the neck bib, <laughs> the neck bib helped so much with all the drool that she had and it goes under her neck and this is for babies like hold on because you can y'all see her neck her neck is still developing look at it it's so chunky it's all the way under there so i gotta put the bib under here because sometimes drool gets under here so i put the the bib under there and it just helps so much with all the drool that she has so number six will definitely be a neck bib Number seven, I'm going to save your life with this essential, okay? Number seven is gonna be the Colic Calm. Any ba I should've put that for number one, to be honest. And what I would suggest um, is the Dr. Brown's bottle, and this is another essential. I know I said 10, but I wanna put these two together because this will really help you guys. Um, because she was up all night screaming. I was up, you guys, for until like four in the morning with her because of the bottle that I used for the first time. Um, I, I pump and then I put it in the bottle. I wanted her to take bottles too for when she goes to her grandma's house. So um, I tried a bottle that didn't have the air trap that the Dr. Brown has and y'all when I tell y'all this baby was screaming she was screaming so make sure you get that bottle okay um but the Kali Calm helps so fast it helps so fast and your baby feels so much better please do not use the gripe water it is not good I heard that it has actually a recall on it and it's not good for your baby so do not use that for your baby so please make sure that you guys use this if your baby is having an upset stomach or uh, a lot of gas that's trapped in his or her stomach so number eight is going to be this trash can i don't know what the trash can is called but i am definitely going to post it like i told you guys before this trash can helps so much um it traps all the little funkiness that she be having in that diaper you know so 
it be helping me a lot and it can store up to it says 200 diapers but i don't i don't think that it's stored up that much i give it i give it like out of five stars like a, a four you know it's really good um the reason why i give it a four is because i wish it was a little bigger for the price but it does work a lot and i really like this trash can for her diapers number nine you guys is going to be the zipper pajamas um or like clothing i feel like the zipper ones are way better than the button when she poops at night um the buttons just take up so many time un unbuttoning them and she's crying and then trying to after you're done changing you're trying to hurry up and button it back it just makes it's so much easier if you have the zipper pajamas okay because it's just saves so much time for you to just zip and flip zip and flip her to eat like it just makes so much time huh huh mama's journey journey y'all she is stuck on this cocoa melon the zipper pajamas is way better and i will recommend those all right guys final 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 is the car seat so this car seat blanket is the best it is used to cover you know the baby's car seat and i like it i love it actually when at first i used to use a blanket but now that she can grab and the blanket would just get too much in the way it would drag all over you know the floor and then i'll have to get a new blanket now that she grabs things she'll grab it and try to put it in her mouth she puts she tries to put everything in her mouth even my hair that's why i have to keep doing this because she will she just is such a grabber now the car seat blanket it just wraps around the car seat and it's just way way easier than using a blanket so i would definitely say to get that especially if it's hot outside it covers the baby from too much exposure from the sun and especially coming back from the hospital i wish i would have used this i feel like it'll be really good for you guys to use that as well so if there's any essentials that you guys use that i did not say make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below because you can help somebody else by oh yes she's tired you can help somebody else by giving them essentials especially new moms like me and new moms that are watching this video make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you guys want to see more videos from me and journey all you new moms be strong okay it gets easier it gets way way easier all right love you guys